Hey Internet, I'm Color40, and welcome back to Mega Man 3. We are going to take out the remaining four Robot Masters in this episode, and we're actually going to start with Needleman. Needleman is a nightmare if you do him first, but if you've got his weakness weapon, he's really not all that hard. So these guys can be annoying because they become indestructible if you wait for too long. Like that. Also, their needles hurt. But this has got really good music, and I've turned Navi Mode on just to show what it's like also. Navi Mode makes this a lot better, I would say, because there's only one page as opposed to two. Other than that, though, really no, like, amazing differences. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, I'd say Needleman has really underrated music. Ooh, thank you, Matt. All right. So this room, we've got spikes on the ceiling, but those are not instant death, thankfully. Yes, it's just Needle Man. If it was Spike Man, I would be extremely concerned. Yep, those guys are pretty easy to deal with. Then we've got Stomper here. Let's see if we can kill him. <laughs> One shot away. Alright. Time for Needle Man. Get out your Gemini mate laser. Because he is very intimidating without it. The problem is, if your Gemini Maser laser misses, well, then it really misses. Darn it. Yeah, you think he's hard now? Just try doing him without the Gemini laser. Not fun. Oh, come on! If only you could have more than one Gemini laser out at a time, but fortunately, it shreds him. Booyah! And now we get the Needle Cannon, which is basic, and the Rush Jet. The Needle Cannon is basically a more powerful version of the Mega Buster. The Rush Jet is really broken. We'll be seeing that later on in the run. Alright, free to go, and let's do Hard Man, who is not very hard. His stage can be tricky, but he himself is not that bad. Unfortunately, his music is kind of lacking. So just scroll the bees off the screen at the beginning. It's a lot easier than having to deal with them. Just get off those quickly, or else though, you'll get bitten. And here's a part where you actually have to use the rush coil. Oh, thanks, dude! You were too kind. I really like the graphics for this stage, though. And yeah, this is a monkey. Not their official names, but whatever. I'll show off top spin because it's actually pretty good against these guys. Top spin is, however, not very good against these guys. 
So yeah, there's really not a whole lot of difference between the Needle Cannon and the Mega Buster, as you can see. One difference is that for the Needle Cannon, you can hold the A button, and then it'll uh, shoot for you. I know what's coming. Mets and Bulldozers, you remember them from Top Man stage. Thanks, Beat, for telling me to go the upper path. Dun, 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 dun. This is annoying because well, now we have to deal with these and these things. And now it's time for the most difficult Proto Man battle because, well, it takes place on a sloped environment. It's very tricky to dodge his shots, so I don't even really try all that hard. Get out your magnet missiles, kids! And yeah, he will freeze you even if you are in the air, despite what it looks like. And yeah, he's pretty easy. There is a way to beat him Buster only really easily as well. You'll probably see that when we refight him. And now we get one of the most boss weapons in the game. Little pun there. We get the Hard Knuckle. It's basically an explosive fist that you punch a la Rayman. It's good. You can also kind of control where it goes. Alright, two Robot Masters left. I'm saving you for last, so we are going after Sparkman. Sparkman has really, really good music. And an awesome graphic set. There's also electric enemies everywhere. More Hammer Joes, the game loves throwing these at you. This is where the course gets nasty because it's got instant death spikes on the ceiling and platforms that throw you upwards. <gasps> Ow. You can get through that unscathed, but it's pretty tough. Also, the magnet missile is very useful on this course. You'll see that in a bit. Is, does it seem strange to have just such a long drop on this level? You'll understand why later. That's weird. Those blocks are kind of resisting me sliding across them. They were kind of pushing me back a little bit. Here's where the magnet missiles really come in handy. Thankfully, the nuts and bolts don't damage you until they are fully together. Oh wow, we're already at Sparkman. That was a shorter stage than I thought. Get out your needle cannon, kids. Sparkman's kind of like Snake Man in that you really don't want him to get super close to you. And you also do not want him to be on the middle platform. Man, he just loves throwing that spark attack at me. Whew. 
and that was bad. <laughs> oh, for the- thank you! Yeah, even with his weakness weapon, Sparkman is still ridiculous. Then again, Sparkman also does have two different weaknesses, Needleman and Shadowman's weapons. Not sure which is better, though. And we get Spark Shock. As much as people trash the top spin, I think Spark Shock is the worst weapon in this game. Just because it doesn't damage anything except bosses who are weak to it. And it stuns enemies, but as long as they're stunned, you can't shoot another Spark Shock or change your weapon. So you basically are defenseless with it. And on that note, it's time for the guy I've been dreading. Shadow Man. Really cool design, but personally, I'm not a big fan of his music or stage. I'm going to get several people slapping me in the face for that. Also, the thing about Shadow Man is he's a tough fight even with his weakness weapon. You'll find out why. <laughs> But first, we have to fight Proto Man again. Yeah, he's still easy. Magnet Missiles help light up the room. Actually, Magnet Missiles help with pretty much everything. <sighs> Whoa! Those explosions deal a hefty amount of damage to you, so you do not want to get hit by them. This is the level where I these guys just cemented my hatred of them. Magna missile to the rescue. Yeah, that guy has caused me many, many deaths. But thankfully. We are at Shadow Man, and he is weak to Top Spin. And if I can't beat him with the Top Spin, there's a pretty good chance I'm just not going to beat him at all. Yes, did you see how much weapon energy that that one spin took? Thankfully, I did not run out of Top Spin, because that happens scarily frequently. And wow, it has not even been 20 minutes in the recording. It hasn't even been 15 minutes. I actually think we're going to do another episode, uh, level. So here we get Shadow Blade and the Rush Marine. The Rush Marine is pretty lame in comparison to the Rush Jet. And the Shadow Blade is basically a dumbed-down Metal Blade from Mega Man 2. But it's still quite helpful. So now... Surprise! Four more guys before the Wily stages, actually. So these guys are Doc Robot, and... We basically go back to four of the stages that you see here, and we're in for some surprises. So, I'm going to start with the Gemini Man Revisited. It's the easiest of them, I believe. It's still hard, but... Cool little fin here. Now the colors of the guys are reversed. Now they're orange and drop blue fire instead of blue and dropping orange fire. Nice touch! Even if it's only aesthetic purposes, I still really appreciate it. Then again, I'm colorful already. I'm kind of an aesthetic guy. There's also a lot more of them, as you can see. So you gotta be careful or else they're gonna throw you off a cliff. Those beetles don't help anything. Oh, 
I think that's the only ever question mark crate in the entire game. Oh, never mind. Okay. So as you can see, the stage is pretty different. Like, same stuff, kind of, but... New difficulty. Alright. So, boss already? What? Uh, not quite. Get out your needle cannon. Flash Man? What? Yep, this guy basically possesses the spirits of all of the Mega Man 2 Robot Masters, so you have to basically fight just tougher versions of them. And they're huge, and deal a lot more damage, as you can see. And that's not the end of the level. You get two Dock Robots per Dock Robot stage. And hope you do not run out of Rush Coil or Rush Jet, because otherwise you are literally just stuck there. And now, we try out Rush Marine, for the only time in the game. If you think it looks good, just... Believe me, Rush Jet does everything Rush Marine does, only better. Alright. Nearing the end of the stage now... The bug dispensers wouldn't uh, try to kill me. That would be great. Two pro. Alright. So since we're underwater, you can probably guess which dock robot's coming up next. And I'm gonna show off a funny little Easter egg. So, first off, get out your Shadow Blade. So as you can see, you can throw it in any direction, but it only travels short distance. We don't have as much ammo, and it's just not as good. So, yeah, Doc Bubble. He's got a funny little glitch to his AI. Get Rush Jet out. So Rush Jet, for some reason, he now does nothing while we're on Rush Jet. Highly amusing, that! <laughs> and he's also the only boss in the game who is weak to Rush Jet. So that's pretty funny. And thankfully it saves after you beat the Doc Robot stages. Because the Mega Man Anniversary Edition does not save in between the Wily stages, which is really annoying. And we did five stages today. I think that is a good po uh, place to stop. I'm Colorful Artie, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you for the next episode where we take on the remaining Doc Robot. But guys, have a great day, and God bless.